Hi, in this tutorial we are going to see how to assemble bevel gears uh, in space claim. So we have taken this particular example from uh, grabcat.com. So we go to space claim and we open SolidWorks assembly file which has two components shown here. Now we need to assign different assembly conditions between these two components. Uh, we would require a revolute joint attached here. So for that we first create a cylindrical joint. So let's create a axis that is in the root of the assembly. We select this axis and this cylinder of the gear click on align. So as you can see uh, we have this align condition created. A revolute joint would consist of a cylindrical joint and a planar joint. Now we need to create a planar joint. Select this axis. We need to create a plane and we select these two planes and click on tangent. So that creates a revolute uh, planar joint. Combination of cylindrical and planar would create a revolute joint. Let's hide the plane for time being. So we would require another axis here we draw it and we need an align between this axis and uh, we can select cylinder let's do it again click click on align this and this okay was, okay these two select then click on align so we have another align done let's create a work plane here and select the work plane and uh, the plane click on tangent let's hide this plane now so we are set with uh, two revolute joints we now we need to create a gear condition to create that uh, let's see how many teeth these uh, gears have so go to any of the protrusion of the teeth go to selection faces with same area and it counts the number of faces as 24 so this means our bigger gear has 24 teeth and the smaller gear would have 16 faces that's also evident from the part numbered here okay so that just confirmation uh, we need to select these two axes create a plane we'll use this plane to create a sketch and look, go to play plan view and now we need to draw a line which comes in this direction and uh, basically it would divide the total angle between these two uh, intersecting um, axes okay in this case it is 90 degrees so we need to find out a line which passes through the pitch point between these two uh, gears so we need some math background for okay this is a uh, case we have r1 is the radius of the bigger gear r2 is the radius of smaller gear and uh, we need to find the angles theta1 and theta2 that they make at the point of convergence so in our case theta1 plus theta2 is 90 degrees so this is the formulation and we uh, assume that r2 is equal to 1 and uh, r1 by r2 is the ratio that is also equal to the number of teeth in uh, gear 1 by number of teeth in gear 2 in our case it is 25 by 16 24 by 16 that is 3 by 2 and a in our case is 90 degrees and uh, this is how we would get tan theta 2 so tan theta is a smaller angle that is sin a sin a is 90 degrees that is sin a is uh, 1 r cos a would be 0 in our case so it would be 1 by r 1 by 3 by 2 would be uh, 2 by 3 that is 0 0.6667 so we will get theta 2 as tan inverse of 0 0.6667 so I'll just open the calculator uh, 0 0.6667 I go to tan inverse of this so that is 33.69 degrees now let's go back to space claim we uh, draw a line 
from here that is use a tab so that you go to the angle so we write 90 plus 33.69 so this is our direction okay so let's extend this further so that it comes to this line so once that is done we can get rid of this line and we need to make a copy of this control C V so we have two lines here so we right click on both of them and go to construction on off okay that is because we need to get a surface out of it so click on 3d view now we select one of the construction line by default pull is selected we go to revolve and we select this axis and we say full pull so basically we are going to draw uh, conical surfaces okay, that is done we select the second construction line pull uh, revolve then select this axis and full pull so we have two surfaces created now we need to move these surfaces to the corresponding components so this is done now we just need to define a gear condition between these two conical surfaces if you want you can hide these surfaces so let's move one co one of the components rotate one of the components so you can see that it's having a perfect uh, mating with the other gear okay and uh, so this is about uh, how you assemble bevel gears in uh, space claim in our case it was 90 degrees and it was straightforward if the angles are not at 90 degrees then we use the formulation I just showed you let's go to SC motion which is a motion add-in for space claim click on it and uh, we need to define rotation to one of the joints so let's define to align cylindrical 3 that is corresponding to this particular joint here right click set joint input so let's enable a rotation of 360 degrees and we just start simulation simulation is complete and uh, you can see that SC motion can handle all types of gears uh, which you have seen from other tutorials okay thanks for watching